Hey guys, I am you Peg I Peg come from Hong Kong. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your clan mate. Giant follows by the minion horde, what should we do? We may psycho log and then use ice golem to kite the minion horde to the left. However, the giant will still make a huge damage to our tower. We should sacrifice the right tower to make a big elixir lead. The opponent just used three musketeers, what should we do? That means we have at least four elixirs lead. We lose one tower already and we need to take two towers to win this game. As we don't have a princess tower protect the musketeer on the right, it is a golden chance to attack the right tower as the opponent just used nine elixirs. What should we do now? We should get an elixir advantage for 3 musketeer matchup. Let's use goblin hut to earn some elixirs. Giant and minion horde again, how can we handle? The opponent deck is also 3 musketeer deck which should not have a big spell. Let's put the musketeer on the left to kill the 10 elixir troops. The 3 musketeers are going to cross the bridge, what should we do? If we count the 3 musketeers as 9 elixirs, we have 15 elixirs now. Since the opponent still not putting any troop on the floor, we have at least 5 elixirs lead. We can all in attack now and the opponent should not have enough elixir to defend. We overkill the musketeer and the opponent caught our mistake. The giant and minion horde are coming again, how can we handle them? Our next card is archers. We can use ice golem to kite the minion horde to the left tower and then use archer to kill the giant. There are only 7 seconds left, how can we ensure the giant do not connect to the tower? We can use an earthquake to slow down the giant so that he cannot connect to the tower. 